ducks can die, splat. A duck's opinion. Duck fan! Welcome back to our Max Payne 3 part 14, and I think we're getting pretty close to the end, although I said that like five parts ago, but I don't know, there's not much more to do. We'll see what happens. Let's see what's going on. Panama had been my second job with Passos. Hey, Max. Little girl Max. in the pink in the back. Come on. The no, first let me go hook up with that girl in the Money right for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. Passing her own coat. Nothing like doing some good blow, some good friends on a boat. Daphne! Come here, I love this one. Marcello! Before they all got killed, obviously. Alfredo Morshad! Sure beats New Jersey, huh, Max? Some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome! Everybody's drunk and tanned and listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's very funny, Max. Eh? Hey, Saud! Oh. God, I gotta quit drinking so much. I give myself serious liver damage. Yeah, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding, I hope you are. <laughs> Just stay off the ale, hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again! Here you go. <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends, you know? Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. Know that, like real safe. That's great. Yeah, and I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons, do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. Not good. Bad. Real bad. But good, because now I can get you laid <laughs> a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey? Again, I call the girl in the pink shorts. I love a woman. She's with another, and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. I mean, could you believe that shit? Okay. <laughs> He's talking Excuse about the bosses, girl. To, he had to uh, bend. To speak to Felipe. Felipe! You crazy crackhead! Lay off the yayo, eh? Passos. Walk with me. Yeah. Yeah. What's the deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of stuck up. He's a good guy. Yeah, sure. Ta bon, ta bon. But have him smile a bit more, you know? His life! Life is good! No, it's really not. He's just faking it for all these bitches on coke. Where's the truck? It's coming. Hey, soon. Soon. Passos. Yeah. I gotta go lay down. Okay. <laughs> is he like drunk off his ass? He is drunk off his ass. It's the drunkest I've seen him yet. Damn, Max, I didn't know you could actually get drunk. I thought you could just drink forever and be all right. <sighs> oh. 17.20 on the clock. Let's see what time he wakes up. Oh, shit. Zero, zero. I mean, the power went out. Something's going down. Wake your ass up and let's go see what's going on. See if there's dead girls in bikini everywhere. He's like still half drunk. Oh shit. Encontré a uno de ellos. 
You don't give me any freaking health patches. Last thing I did, you gave me five. This one, you're like, no. You'll kill a thousand people. Fuck yeah. This one, like, no, we don't need to give you any health patches. You'll be all right. You give me a buttload of ammo, though. Let me check around. I need some... Some good to go. What's this? I couldn't just pretend my friends weren't there. There's a lot of shit in here I could steal. I had to finish what I started. It's music, man. It seems like some game ending music. I'm actually to the point where I really don't want this game to end, to be honest. That's always the point, though, when it's about to. Damn, he dodged that shit, too. She's like there, dude. I'm one hit from death. The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. Okay, that's one way to put it, but the other way to put it is why didn't you start me off any pills? The second way to put it is there any pills in here. The radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover long after a party had turned sour. Yeah, for real. But still, like, I'm a shot away from death. Like, no pills anywhere? No one else help me out. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. <laughs> he's all ow. He's always trying to be sneaky and noisy. Shit just don't work. Yeah, I was like one shot from being dead and you're just gonna rush out there? That wasn't me that did that. The game like automatically rushed him out there and I was one shot away from being dead. shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. It's definitely one way to put it. You're very hurt, too. I'm so glad it didn't make me turn that by rotating my controller or some stupid shit like they do in games. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. You have to do this. There wasn't much air left. I'm dead. <sighs> this isn't the greatest mission ever. Ammo. And I get back up and instantly have ammo. I didn't care if I got shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more gulp of fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake up whiskey after a two day bender. Or the wake now of a hit or some pot after feeds. not smoking for two weeks. Move, Max. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. 
shit, it's not up here. Well, I guess I'll eventually find them all. Eventually. After I die a couple times, is it right there? New. There's one. I know where two are, so if I die again, I can at least run to these really quick. Are there only two? Yep. There. I could breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. It's one way to put it. Do you have any. Fuck. Oh, don't you hate when you just fucking walk out the door and you don't expect there to be someone there and he shoots you in the fucking neck and you have to fucking redo shit that you don't fucking want to redo? At least they gave me a, a thing. Like, if you fail too much and you suck like I do at this game, then they automatically... They automatically make you... They give you an uh, they give you a health patch or pills in this case. The fire was sucking oxygen from the room. I didn't care if I got shot the second I got out of there. I needed one more. It's funny you'd say that because I did get shot the I second got I got out of there. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds? I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. When I know they both are, I'm not going to actually be almost dead by the time I get out of here. This game has way too many trials and errors in my opinion. There. I could breathe again. Now the boat could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. Yeah, yeah, I know you said it earlier. So this was the famous Panama Canal. While I'd been dead to the world, some of my shipmates were just plain dead. Where had they taken them? Dude, look at this. It's crazy looking. Can I ride a jet ski? Oh, I have to jump in the water or something? What am I doing? Oh shit. I didn't even see you guys. I ain't gonna lie. I was like, what? It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Oh yeah, definitely. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. I know she got shot in the back. Poor girl. Yeah, I still know what the hell happened either. I didn't like to think what was behind the door. Well, let's do some exercises before we go behind the door. Guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. That's one way of putting it. Music, dude, is so eerie. Like it has that, just like that something bad's happening, like eerie feel. I don't like it. It's freaking me out.
I mean, you guys know what I mean? It has like that feel to it. Like some shit's about to just hit the fucking fan. Sorry, I, 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 I gotta just check everything. Daphne Bernstein, a recent divorcee making the most of her considerable settlement. And Marcella was making the most of her. I didn't... I don't want to think about it. Yeah, pretty much. It's like this game is so linear. You like always know where you go. It's like me coming around and checking out other places. It's like the only bit of exploring I get. So I like, I like looking around. And I also find pills. Daphne's ship was always stopped. Like that. Most of the time. Alright. I think I heard somebody shoot at me. Miguel! Ah! Damn. Oh my god, I didn't you were there. There was something firing these guys other than good old fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for? I know, they're all in the bathroom looking for stuff. I mean, I'm looking for pills because Max Payne's a pill head, but I don't know what these guys are looking for. It's music, though. It's still very unsuming. Shit, this guy right there. I didn't take advantage of that and take me out. Come on, show it. I know you're right there. Show it. Damn it, you bastard. Get up. You're gonna get a lucky ass trick shot on me. I just know it. I was on a ghost ship in a ghost canal. The whole thing creeped me the hell out. Yeah, dude, it's creeping me the hell out too. They didn't help with my sea legs, but they sure as shit felt good. Loves himself some painkillers. What the fuck is this, submarine? Get in the door or something. Get the fucking door. Shit, you about died. No, you did die. What the fuck? Lit me up, man. I walk outside and just all of a sudden I'm on the ground fucking dead and chugging like four painkillers and I'm still dead. Shit. Go, just go, just go. wouldn't get everything. No one's ever safe in this game. Ever. Nice. I guess we go upstairs, maybe? Fucking brutal. Painkillers, anyone? Oh. 
head gushing with blood, anyone? I spotted Passos and Marcella. If I'd known back then that they'd been up to no good while I was fighting my way through a band of violent paramilitaries and a worse hangover, I might not have wanted to get over to them so bad. Hey, Passos! At the time, I hadn't thought too much about this. I hadn't thought too much about anything. Now I remember it. It didn't seem quite so kosher. What about what's her name? Daphne. Uh, do whatever you think is best. I think it's best we try to go find her. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Nah. See, I didn't think Passos was a bad guy. He didn't need to try to save this woman or the crew. Through here. I didn't realize you knew your way around here. Um, I still am really confused about what's going on. Building to get across the canal. Come on, we're gonna get her. Let's get her. It's music though again. There was some equipment in the truck next to me. It'd be a shame to see it go to waste. Says like I don't know what it says, but the music is creepy. Yeah, I think it's all day and late. There's got to be a reason why they're going across the canal. Take the death, I'm like one hit away. But so is he. <laughs> Blood to the face. and bullshit artists, I'd been the cabaret act. Shooting whatever came in front of me was easier than coming to terms with that reality. Painkillers. One hit away, I need some pills. Come on, Daddy, need some pills. Damn, Max. She has a guy there, I didn't even see. I don't want to handle it. At least have my life back now. Adelante. Adelante. 
Ow, that fucking hurt me terribly. I need pills. Yes, pills. My own private welcoming party. Pull this thing. I needed something to help me adjust to being back on land. Bastard. That's an awesome, br brutal murmurly kill. Next pain, don't fucking play with bitches. They were still out there, waiting to put a bullet in me. Now I'm over here running out of pills. I blocked out all my questions. All I thought about was getting the Daphne Bernstein before it was too late. Well, see what happens. Oh, they're all dead. Jesus Christ. I don't even think going out there is what we want to do, man. They look all dead to me. Yep. Fuck, man. This is brutal. Yeah, it is. I didn't think things would be like this. It's terrible. I should have jumped in that goddamn canal myself and swum my way back to New York. Let me ask you again, Max. What do you think you were really doing in Panama? Finally back to this. I was drinking. People died. Innocent people. Who do you think robbed you? I don't know. I was told it was... People who dislike Daphne Bernstein, something about an unpleasant divorce. Her ex-husband worked on Wall Street. Do you think he has easy access to Panamanian death squads? Guess I didn't really think about it. You were smuggling something, weren't you? No, no, no. I mean, I didn't realize it at the time. I, I didn't think too much about it, but yes, Marcelo did drive off with something. I don't know what, I didn't see him until we got to Brazil a week or so later. I think it was money. I think Marcelo and Victor have a friendly banker there in Panama. Your little cruise was to deliver the cash to him because there it's easier to launder. But I thought the Broncos were rich. Harigo's rich. The other two, they live well, but they don't have real money. Victor's campaigns were always financed by his brother. That is the way among certain rich families there. The eldest brother is the king. You know, he gets everything. The other two, not so much. And now Rodrigo's dead. Exactly. In Marcelo, too. It's an awful tragedy for Victor, huh? A man running on a law and order ticket, you know, whose brothers 
have both been killed in such terrible circumstances? A true patriot. What about Marcello? Marcello? Marcello was an idiot. Were this true, I certainly don't believe he could possibly have known about it. But I do believe some other scheme, you know, some other bullshit. Whatever that cash was, Victor could have talked him into something. I don't know yet. And Passos? Well, Passos is a bum ex-cop. Failed in America, failed in Sao Paulo. He was surrounded by more money and more poverty than his tiny little head can handle. You think guys like that can't be bought? No, but if... But nothing. He's probably not a bad guy. He's just a man caught in the crossfire of a very rich family. What about me? You. You're the fall guy. The American. Running around, acting like the action hero. Killing lots of people. <laughs> You're a stroke of genius. That ain't how it is. You were an angry ex-cop. You were sitting in a bar with a history of violence and a history of a bad temper. You were perfect. Me and Passos went to the academy together. Did you? I don't fucking know. Uh... <sighs> okay, let's take a drive, Max. Want to do some good? Hmm? Want to get yourself killed in a good cause? And I need you to check something out for me. Like what? That incident at the favela today. Now, some of my officers say a bus drove off some captives. They did, I saw it. But no captives were ever booked. They probably handed them off to the paramilitary death squads, the, uh... Caixa Preto? Right. Who did? I don't know, the cops. The other cops, the cops who shoot on sight. The Ufe. Right. Max. You see that building there? The Imperial Palace Hotel. Yeah, that's what it says. People go in there in large groups under armed guard. But it isn't a police station, and no one comes out of there. Why don't you just go in and bust the joint? Get a warrant. I'm only a cop, Max. <laughs> so you keep saying. <clears throat> so what, I have to go Time in there now? To find out what was going on here. I didn't fancy booking myself in the presidential suite, so I went looking for the basement. I don't want to go in there. This place is like a shithole. Chapter 11. The Great American Salvatore of the Poor. So damn, that was a 33 minute episode. I don't know, I might cut it. I probably won't though. So thank you guys for watching. We'll continue this Let's Play in another part. And it's getting quite interesting. I'm getting quite confused, but hopefully it all wraps up good. We'll see what's up. Talk to you later. Peace.